My software I'm releasing this month with my partner Gabby is going to make you a millionaire. I'm not even kidding. Let me show you. So the software is called Versify and it pretty much allows you to create any single thing imaginable inside of UEFN and Fortnite and Creative 2.0. And let me just show you. So I'm gonna ask it whatever I want. Create me a working flying chair. I don't know. Guys, you can literally bring any fantasy and desire you want to life. Create me a working flying chair. This is going to change the Fortnite space as we know it forever because you're gonna be able to make games out of thin air and you're all these guys that are making thousands of dollars, no need anymore. You won't need to buy stupid verse code off of your friend. You can use our software and it will create any single thing you want to like. So I switched up the code just a little bit so it's not as basic because Versify can literally do whatever you want. So we're gonna type in the prompt and the code and you're gonna see on screen right now, they're just gonna spill out every single thing that you actually need to know, including steps in the verse code and every single device is needed to actually achieve the steps in the prompts that you submitted. Because now we can actually literally just copy and paste this code and put it inside of UEFN literally right now. First, we have to drag up the devices necessary to bring this to life. Go to Verse Explorer first, because we're going to call it Floating Chair. We're going to press enter here. All we have to do now is just copy and paste the code and press the top right, and it's going to build successfully. As you guys can see, green check mark. That is proof that the code is actually fully functional. And now I'm going to show you how to actually link up these devices right now. So now what we're going to do is bring out the chair device and the remote signal device and grab an item placer and link the remote device into the item placer. Therefore, when we actually activate the chair, it's going to be flying. So as you guys can see, we are linking up the actionable steps necessary to make this chair work from the verse code and from the steps that it gave us. So now we can actually use the software. We're just going to have it on a little bar stool chair. It doesn't really matter what you actually want it to have. You can literally have it as any possibilities that you want and make it flying as well. So all we're going to do is grab the chair that we want. We're just going to put it back to the comfy chair though, because you know, it's a little bit more simplistic, a little bit cooler. And now we're going to go back into UEFN and verse and link the devices necessary to the actual chair. So all we have to do, press details, grab the details of the device and link it inside of the chair. And now it is going to be fully functional and working my friend. So now once we actually use the remote device and we actually press it, we are actually going to stick into the chair. And actually, if we sit on the chair, we can actually hold W and fly around my friend wherever we want. This is a fully functional working verse chair script. Is that not insane? Like we can literally just press the button, the chair will come to us and we can literally just start flying however we want. Like I think this is pretty cool. Like Versify literally has endless possibilities. You can create whatever you want inside of Fortnite and bring it to life. So let's do another use case. Let's just say I have a coding mistake in my, in my game and I need help fixing it and solving it. Let's just say I just get rid of this shit right here. Okay, so now it's fully ready. It's obviously if I were to go build here, it's not going to work. I might get errors and pop-ups right now. It is not going to work. It's not going to build at all. As you can see, hence the red arrows. So what we're going to do here, press control A. And so all we have to do guys, solve these Fortnite first code errors, please. Type it out however you want. You just type in the code and it's going to solve all of the errors actually for you. Of course, the prompt looks ugly because it's not really, you know, paired towards grammatical stuff. So all we're going to have here, it's going to load up the code. It's going to tell you how to actually fix these errors. All right. So all we have to do is just copy and paste the code guys. So it's telling you what's actually wrong and what needs to be fixed as well. Steps to solve it as well. In case you want to, you know, learn and do better as well. So all we can do is just press control C, go back out and just press control V guys. Now the code is fully functional. And if we were to go to build it right now, you're going to see a green arrow right here, signifying that the code is actually fully working. So what we're going to do now is connect the devices and show you that this is actually fully functional. Okay. So we have the explosive device right here. Okay. So this is the explosive button. So what we're going to do is load into a session here as starters. What I want to do is link up a button to the trigger. All right. So we're going to connect the trigger here. I'm going to grab the trigger. So here we have a trigger. All right. Here's the trigger. Now what I want to grab is explosive device. So here's the explosive device. And then I want to grab a button. You can bring this up and now let's go back to the explosive device. This is what you want to do. And bam, now it's going to be fully functional. So when I actually press this button, it's going to explode the bomb. I'll show you literally right now. So we're going to launch a session and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So here we have the devices. So I'm going to put up down actually a player spawner right here. So I don't actually ever miss the spot of where I am. All right, player spawner place now. All right, here's the player spawner. Okay, so now we're going to start the game. All right, cool. So now we spawned on the location. Now, if I press this button, it's going to explode the device. Ready? Bam. Just like that working burst code, guys. And of course, it's not going to respawn. So if I press it again, it's not going to explode anymore. But this just proves to you guys that we're going to do it one more time. It proves to you guys that the software actually has capabilities that can actually bring your ideas and fantasies to life. You can bring whatever you want. You can summon a dragon, summon with that, whatever the hell you want. So we're going to explode it again. You ready, guys? That is insane, guys. Now, we're going to react to some of your game and give you critiques on how you can do better. And I'm going to use my software Versify and use the brains and bronze of the software to help you guys and give you guys pointers to do better. So the first game that we're going to check out is by a fan of mine named Verse called Pit Summer. Overall, it has garnered over 600 players within the span of four days, which is not even that bad. And the lifetime revenue is around $4,000. That is really good for someone who is starting out making games. His team is called Frosted. I'm looking forward to see what he's cooking. Let's go check out this game. All right, so we're inside of the Summer Pit game and right off the rip, I do like the stairs here the wooden stairs like we're in some motel hotel we have a surfing board to show your stats very very clever and smart so there's a reason why this game is averaging 300 players consecutively right now we have the weapons here we have the, the cool weapons here we have xp that we're being granted with we have the 2x damage two minutes this is very very clean i'm not gonna lie we have the prize wheel okay okay we have the weapon wall here timed rewards what does this do no okay so we have a chest here interact whoa so these are free rewards that you can actually grab and gain inside of the game and then we have the summer splash here pit summer pit summer the one thing that you could 
would have is where the builds reset. You don't have that inside of the game. And also these floors are kind of pretty big, but you should definitely have the builds reset in here. You should also add the uh, the vault. Like where's the vault at? You know what I mean? But overall, that was a very, very fun game. I rate that 9 out of 10, man. On to the next game. So the next game that we're going to check out is called Sniper One Shot by Aesthetics and Renders. Honestly, don't know what to expect. The thumbnail is really, really good. And it peaked at 209 players literally yesterday. What was the revenue on this? $144. This might be a replica of one of the other games that I reacted to previously, but even better. Well, let's go check it out and see. Okay, so we are inside of the Sniper One Shot Greasy Grove replica. And here we have time rewards of the boots that you can unlock and all of the weapons with the, the vending machines. We have new items right here. Okay, so we're going to jump off of here. It looks like it takes forever for us to actually get off the ground though. We have the ranked here where it says unranked. Not going to lie, I do mess with the aesthetic here. You do jump a little too high. I would turn the low gravity just a little bit down, just a tad bit too high, which could be a little bit annoying to get down. But I do like here how you have weapons placed on the floor to have some fun and snipe around your buddies and your friends. This is honestly a super, super cool game. Like I'm just gliding. Honestly, feel like Spider-Man right now. We have Greasy Grove here. This is really, really cool. Do we have any chests here though? Like how do we actually grab our snipers? So we have ammo boxes here. What do we actually uh, get? What do we get from them though? So I open the ammo box. Okay, so I get some shotgun ammo. I don't believe there's any shotguns actually that actually give you ammo though. Don't believe there's a shotgun sniper, but overall, I'd say this game is actually really good. I can see why it's been averaging a few hundred players every single day. Definitely rate this a uh, 9 out of 10, bro. Honestly, don't really have any critiques. The only critique that I would give you is just like make the low gravity just like a little bit tad bit smaller. So it's not like you're just jumping super high because it could get a little bit annoying. So overall, good game. Let's check out the next one. All right, so the next game that we're going to check out is Military Wars by Plazrat or Guy Gun. Honestly, don't know what to expect. The thumbnail does look very, very promising though and very unique. It has averaged 233 players. I do like the video that you have playing and it's made over $220, which is not too shabby, not too bad at all. The game looks really good though. Let's check it out. All right, so we are inside of the Military Wars and right off the bat, I'm getting Dusty Divot vibes. We have the, uh... honestly, you could have added more weapons here. Not a... And also, why is there an HP bar that I can see on the thing on the health here? So I can see why this game is performing kind of poorly, but it does look very, very good though. Like what I'm spawning out of it. Pretty cool. And we have the military base here with the weapons. I mean, like the only reason it's not doing good is because of, uh, it just looks boring, you know? And also the rank thing at the bottom left, not the most appealing, bro. Like it literally has, it's just a square rectangle, but I do like the tanks here, bro. Like this is really, really cool. I actually forgot these were in the game. Like the military theme, if you, if, if you redid this, this could do really, really well. And for some reason I can't build. Why can I not build? Is it a zero build game? But I can't build in, in a military red versus blue because you're allowed to build any other ones. But I guess in this, there's no uh, red versus blue. And also you have a glowing base here, which I don't know why that's a thing. Like, why is this, you know, glowing? But I'd say this game is, it's cool. It's not really the greatest game. I'm not going to lie, but overall it's a cool concept. You know, you tried your best. And I guess are these like weapons that you can unlock like after 45 minutes or something? There's just nothing going on here. You know, like there's just, there, it could have been more spacious. Like where's the red versus blue element? Is there like another base that I'm missing? Like where's the both sides of it? You know, like, I don't really know what I'm looking at. Like, is there another side here that I'm missing? We have motorcycles here. That's not really military. Not really mi motorcycles in the military, I don't think. Yeah, is there like another side here that I'm missing? But overall, I'd rate this game like a 6 out of 10. It's not terrible, but if you redid the concept, if you redid the concept, it would do definitely a lot better. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about my brand new software. Please click the link in the description to follow all my social medias down below. Join the Versify waitlist and join the community down below. Let me know if I should continue reacting to more games. Click the last video on the screen. I'm out. Peace.